Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the lock screen on your Realme C61 and then do an FRP with an FRP bypass just so you get rid of both the screen lock as well as the Google account that shows later. So uh, let's begin with the fact that most phones can be reset, which means you can get rid of the lock screen with recovery mode. But then it asks you for the Google account that was previously logged in on the phone. And um, that is pretty hard to do. And it's called an FRP bypass. And it is really hard to do. Uh, sometimes even impossible. But on this phone, it actually is pretty simple. Even though the reset itself is hard, it's difficult. It's not that hard uh, when it comes to the FRP bypass because it's actually done automatically. But you'll see everything in the process. We'll be getting rid on bo of both the screen lock and the Google account, so the phone will be all fresh, like it's brand new, uh, without any lock protection. Now, um, to begin, let's turn the phone off. So we'll need to press and hold on power and, and volume up until you see the menu, the power menu, and then slide down to power it off, basically. Now, wait a moment, the phone will vibrate. And now we'll get to the recovery mode. Uh, I will get to the recovery mode just to show you that you can't do it through recovery mode even though on most phones you can. Uh, you don't really have to go to the recovery mode, just the phone has to be off but I'll go into it because also it's a bit complicated to go into the recovery mode here so uh, it's pressing and holding on power button for 3 seconds then adding the volume up while still holding on power button then once the realme logo shows up releasing the power button and keeping on holding volume up until android shows up so let's do it one two three volume up release power keep on holding volume up if you want to repeat this process by after me there's n no point really but if you really need it then you can technically well i even failed <laughs> so mm, i'll just try doing it again i'll turn off the phone and get back to you okay i know what were what went wrong i actually was supposed to do the volume down not volume up I recorded the video on how to enter the recovery mode on this phone like two days ago and I already forgot it. But yeah, as I said, it's hard. Power button, then volume down, then release power button. Now it didn't vibrate actually, so there's a chance. Yeah, we have this Android that says no command. Then I'm gonna press on volume up, is, sorry, power. Uh, and while holding it, shortly press on volume up then release and now uh, I can navigate using volume buttons and if I go to the wipe data factory reset then click on power button you can see there's only cancel option I cannot do anything and this is the problem with this phone so we need to first reset it and to reset it um, let's shut the phone down so I'm gonna cancel it and it's gonna power it off but you could have also just powered it off straight away, right? You didn't have to go to that recovery mode. That's why I said about it, but I just wanted to prove that it's really hard to do it because it's not available in the recovery mode. And on any other phone that I've ever seen in my life, it was available. But now let's go to our website and download some files that will be uh, important. So let's get the files. Mm. They're gonna be on our hard reset dot info website. Once you go to hard reset dot info, go to download, then find Oppo because Oppo and Realme have the same drivers. 
then find this one the oppo slash realme drivers with these like free phones here uh, just click on download then click on download and we're gonna download it we'll get to that in a moment now we'll also need mm, hold on i should have it in my history mm. Okay, this is the website. You can see EFT Pro Dongle. And unfortunately, that program is paid, but this, but all options for the device, for this device, all options are paid. Like, there is no free option to reset this device, but fortunately, this program costs, I believe, like 10 US dollars per month and you don't have limit on how many devices you can mm, do so if you fail the first time you can redo it over and over again on the phone and not, no need to worry about it now um yeah i have like i already have the program bought so i'm just gonna download it but if you have if you like if you need, then you need to buy it on the internet. And yeah, I'm gonna direct download it. And this program really works. It's been tested on a, uh, tested by us multiple times on many different devices and always worked. We've been using it for multiple years and it does indeed work. Now let's go to uh, our file explorer and go to downloads then you have two different archives and for those archives to unpack them i will use a winrar program if you don't have it it's worth getting it because it'll let you unpack both the .rar archives as well as .7z archives these are like just the files that you need to turn into folders mm, and if you go to win-rar.com you can see it in my address bar right now uh, then you can download that program. Once it's downloaded, you'll have two of these files. Let's go to Oppo USB driver setup. I'm gonna right click on it, then find WinRAR and extract to and the name of the folder. Now it's extracted into here. Let's download the USB driver. Mm, select English or Chinese if you want. Click on OK and click on install. And now the thing will be getting installed. Okay, now it's worth restarting the computer and you should do it because otherwise it may not work. I've already installed the driver so I don't need to restart the computer. So I will click on no, I will restart the computer later. But if you're installing it for the first time, then click on yes, restart the computer. Now I'm going to go back to downloads, right click on update 4.7z, which is my, you know, this is my um, EFT dongle program. I, I just click on WinRAR, extract to, and you have it basically the EFT Pro. I also have it on the desktop. It's like with all my, you know, history of usage, basically, it's not like a here is different, it's just, you know, with the history of my usage. I'm gonna open the program, then it's gonna log me in automatically because I'm using a USB dongle for it. But if you, um, if you like have the program bought, then you probably have it bought with your email and password. So type those in, then um, it tells me some incomplete drivers found. Uh, well, you can click on yes, but I'm pretty sure I have them installed, so I'm gonna click on no. But feel free to click on yes and go through that setup. Now we're gonna search for the model. Just type in Realme C61. Okay, now approve with this button here and select the SPD Tiger, this one. But now we also need to change it uh, instead of the T612 to T616, like that. It's just we've tested it and that's how it worked. Now also select 
format user data. Okay. Format user data. This is gonna reset our phone. And now I'm gonna plug the phone into the USB port on my computer. So, uh, before I plug it in, start pressing and holding on volume up and volume down at the same time and while holding on them, plug in the USB-C cable. We should have some communication here. I'm gonna check it because I don't really know if anything happened. The phone is powering on, it shouldn't be powering on. I probably waited for too long. Let's try again. So the phone should appear in the port here. I, th I can resize the program for you. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the phone should appear in port here. Um, and then we will be able to click and start. So let's turn the phone off again by pressing and holding on power and volume up, then s sliding down to power off. Then let's wait until it vibrates. I think it already did. Now uh, wait for additional like 15 seconds, start pressing and holding volume up and volume down. And while doing so, plug in the USB-C cable that's already plugged into your computer. Now you can see it has appeared here. So I'm just gonna click on start and it's gonna start doing it. Now just wait, be patient. It's not too long and it's very not problematic. Once you have the EFT program, it's not problematic. It's only problematic in case you don't have the program because then you can do anything. But here, it's just doing it. And it's gonna finish. And when it finishes, actually, um, it's great because this phone, when, when the EFT finishes, you don't need to do the FRP unlock, which means the Google account will already be removed with the screen lock, both. So it'll be in the factory state. On most phones, you need to do an FRP unlock after. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna unplug the phone once the Realme logo shows, showed up. And let's wait, it's erasing right now. Um, okay, so as I said, on most phones, you need to do the FRP bypass after resetting the phone here. It's doing two at once. So that's like just wonderful. And let's just wait until the phone boots. This booting process will take a bit longer because it's after a restart, reset, so it's very normal for it to take a bit longer. We'll just wait, then we'll set up the phone pretty quickly. And I'll tell you what then, because then there's some more things you need to do. But it, after that, it'll be all good, like brand new.
Okay, now we can see the hello screen. It took a moment, but now let's just go further. This is the setup process. We're gonna go through it pretty quickly. And we'll just like see what then. Let's click on next. Now I'm gonna select region. Then next. I'm gonna click on next here. I'm not gonna insert a SIM card. I don't really need to do it. Then let's skip it. And then let's select a Wi-Fi network. You cannot skip it even if there is no um, FRP. So you just need to connect to Wi-Fi network to go further. Let's click on next. Now it'll start loading. Let's click on more, more and accept. You can see we went through the step that at this point, typically the FRP should show up. So it means we don't have the FRP, but it's still worth just skipping that. Let's skip that. Let's click on later. Because the phone still may have some, you know, some rests of this program working of the EFT Pro working. So um, we'll need to just click on done here. Just like go through it as fast as you can. Just not to waste time. Um, I'm gonna click on get started. Now you can see the phone is in the home screen. It's reset, but I'm gonna slide up to go to the settings app. And let's reset the phone again, this time through the settings, just to make extra sure the phone is reset for good. And then after this reset in the settings, once you scroll down from uh, to like almost to the bottom to system, then scroll down to reset phone and clear all data permanently. You can click on clear all data, erase all data. And now it's gonna erase it. And now you can set up the phone however you want because it's all clear now. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.